it's been a great week. Obviously, uh, a darling, darling baby daughter born on Tuesday um, arrived, thankfully in time. Arrived in a bit of a rush, but uh, everyone's doing really, really well, and um, we couldn't be happier. Obviously, now uh, we can kind of shift focus for the game this weekend. Were you, were you concerned that it maybe uh, could get in the way of the game in terms of what? what I think, have done? yeah, that was that was the the, the concern really. Obviously, for for anyone who's got children and anyone who is thinking about children, I think you, you probably understand that it's going to be an enormous emotional draw on you. Um, and trying to balance that with the kind of emotional space that you have to get your head in to play at Twickenham in front of 80,000 people against the All Blacks. Like, they're kind of two very, very big emotional games to be playing and thankfully I, I don't have to try and uh, sub myself out of one and into the other. Will the bottom lip be trembling a bit more on Saturday? Uh, I, do, I do think there, there's going to be a, a large element of, uh, of what I do on the weekend and I'll be thinking about her and it and my kind of responsibility now as a, as a parent and now that I, I can't just kind of doss around doing what I want. Um, everything I do is now accountable to one more person and probably the most important person now if we're honest. So. Um, I do think there, there will be an element of that, yeah. How do you switch the intensity or the focus from something like that to coming up against the All Blacks? How do you change it? Um, I think it's about, about channelling it. I was, I was having quite an interesting conversation with someone earlier about uh, this, the term dad strength. Um, we talk about it in the gym quite a lot of people who, aren't, who don't always push the heaviest, heaviest weight in a linear path, but have kind of real, real dad strength they could like lift up a car and change a wheel with their hands and stuff like that. It is, you kind of get a level of motivation to be better than just all right. Um, and that translates across all walks of life. It's not just illustrated in certain events. So I think channel, channeling the, the kind of the emotional drive to uh, kind of represent myself accordingly so that in years to come, uh, my daughter will be able to kind of Talk about uh, talk about her dad and, and be proud. And in the absence of Joe Launchbury, a man who was often covering every blade of grass, despite his you know his size and his frame, I understand you've perhaps shed a few pounds to up the power and up the up the pace a little bit. So uh... yeah, I think I think I felt after the summer tour that I needed to to kind of take control of what I wanted to do with the game a little bit more. Um, technically, I'm I'm very proficient at the set piece, um, and in close quarters, I'm I'm very effective. But in order to take the next step up, I felt like that was one thing that was going to help me. It wasn't the only thing, but it was the easiest thing to uh, to kind of talk about. So that uh, that's where we are. It it was a, an ambition since the summer, and it's it's come along with the other areas that I've been focusing on, um, and it's it's kind of proved fruitful. It's got me the uh, the yards yards that I needed to make up in order to force myself into this team.